Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing? Hope you guys are all doing well. Um, I believe today, I know today's Monday and I think it's the 24th, but I really, I always have the hardest time keeping up with what day it is. I do know it's a Monday and it feels like a Monday with some of the things that's been going on this morning. Yeah, <laughs> but anyway, um, it's been a while since I've done a video. I've been super busy with life and I haven't felt very good. It's, I'm not sick. It's, um, I'll, I'll uh, talk about it towards the end of my video because I've actually got a uh, whip going that's been kind of helping me with it, I guess you could say, or, or, uh, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> I'll just explain it as best as I can when I get to it. But anyway, um, I do have some finished objects and the first one I want to share with you are the, uh, the pound puppies. Yay! <laughs> I got my pound puppies finished. Uh, now, for those of you that are new, I do a throwback Thursday. And I believe on the last one, I was sharing with you guys the pound puppy that I made. And But I was also going to be making several more. And so I uh, finally got them done. Uh, it took me a little while, and I worked on them a little here and a little there. I actually had an assembly line going, and I've done it... I crocheted, I think I've been, I think the acrylic is drying my hands out, is what I'm trying to say, because I get these splits right here on the corner of my fingers, and those hurt, and so I guess I need to put lotion on more than what I do, and so I'm always having to stick band-aids on there so I can work on my projects, so I had to take a break uh, whenever that started happening, because it was really hurting, but anyway, I think it was because I was, uh, just like I said, crocheting nonstop. <laughs> But anyhow, I finally got them done, and I'm super excited about it. Now, as I was saying, Throwback Thursday, it, I do that on a Thursday, and I go back and I pick out patterns from back in the day, anywhere from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and up. And um, I'll pick one out, and a lot of times, some of those ones that are back from like the 50s and 60s and all the way up even to the 80s, some of them are kind of hard to understand for me to read them. And so, especially the older ones. So I'll, if I find something I really like, I'll go and see if I can see something else that can get as close as it can to what I'm wanting to make. And I also make, I have made some things out of magazines. I have a playlist that I'll put down below where you can go check it out. And uh, yeah, cause I actually uh, started on a sweater one time and I ended up turning it into a pillow. <laughs> So, because I really wasn't liking the way it was turning out. But I ended up making a pillow out of it so it didn't get frogged. <laughs> but anyway, this one I chose to do a pound puppy. And, you know, they were they came out in 1984, if I remember right, the year after I graduated. And uh, it brought back memories. And so, because my kiddo had one when she was little. So I wanted to do that. And I got online and I had already seen this before and all of from stringing ding had this pattern that looked just like the pound puppy so i knew eventually i would be making one and so that's what i did and the first one it was this one <laughs> and i think it turned out so cute and of course my lighting's not going to be very good because i'm in the house but anyway it's probably going to go bright and then dull <laughs> but anyway that was my first one and then i got this one i did one that was white and i gave him some brown spots now I, I can't remember what some of this yarn is i know this is mainstay white and i think this is the mainstay brown but the rest of it's going to be hobby lobby i love this yarn or it's going to be the yarn from the uh, dollar tree the just premiere and then this is mainstay orange but i just think he's so cute and it does they do they look just like the pound puppies <laughs> and so and but hers doesn't call for spots but that, those are easy to do if you know how to do uh, you know if you work in the round and everything like that like you can put sing, uh, six single crochet and then increase up to 12 and then you can just kind of go off a little bit you know do that and then maybe add some triples in there and double crochet but I just think they're so cute so, so there's one here's another one <laughs> Now, this one is that tweed from the Dollar Tree. I think this one's so cute, too. I love that, how it turned out. I gave him some little black spots. So sweet. 
And then here's another one. <laughs> this is Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. I think this is pumpkin, burnt pumpkin, if I remember right. Boy, it's really making that blow out. <laughs> okay. And then I have this one, another tweed from, that's one of my favorites from the Dollar Tree. So I got that one. And then I've got this one. And then I've got this one. <laughs> so I think they are all super cute and I absolutely love them. And I'm super excited that I've got them finished. And I do have one more that I'm working on, but I'm doing it in pink. And so all I like is just the legs on it, but I just kind of, you know, after I made these, I just kind of set it to the side. <laughs> so anyway, I think they're all su super cute. And I'll insert a picture of olives, and then I'll put a link down below if you'd like to go make you a, a little puppy like that. It looks like the pound puppy. <laughs> okay. They're in the basket with my possum that I shared with you guys. I just love this possum. <laughs> I just think he's so cute. So sweet. This is going to be a gift for somebody. <laughs> Got to make me one too, though. <laughs> okay, now the next finished object I'm going to share with you guys is my baby blanket. Uh, I did put another row in. And I'm super excited to show you, and it's really cute. And this is a pattern by Maria's Blue Crayon, and it's the ocean-themed one. Now, the last time I showed you, I had the crab and the seahorse on there. So this time, I have the whale, the turtle, which I absolutely love that turtle, <laughs> and then the starfish. <laughs> Oh, I just think they turned out so cute. And the yarn that I used was just some scrap ball on that one there. I, I, th I know it's Red Heart Super Saver, and it almost looks corally, kind of pinkish looking. It starts with a G. I, like, that's a lot of help, but I can't remember the name of it. But I do remember it just, I don't know. I, I, I'm not even going to try. I can't even remember. <laughs> and then the turtle. I love that turtle. That is Red or. Mainstay Green and Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn in a limelight, I believe. But I do. I think this one's my favorite. Between that and the crab so far. And then we have the whale, which I'm still debating on whether I want to put a smile on him. You can barely see his eye on there. I, I should have made that knot just a tiny bit bigger. I might go back and do it. But if I just whip-stitched it in there. And I might go back and give him a little smile. But this is uh, Mainstay White. And this is that anti-peel green mainstay from Walmart but I think they turned out so cute so that's the second row that I put in and I'm just single crocheting around to give it some texture there I like that and it's real and it works up really easy too really fast okay so what I'm doing is I'm also going through the book that um, is uh, all of came out with this last year and I love this book and so, me and a bunch of uh, other YouTubers did a review on it. And uh, I'll put a link down below if you would like to go and purchase you one too. Because I do. I highly recommend this book. I absolutely love it. So, I decided I want to go through the book and try to do all these amigurumis. Because I made a couple of scrappy baskets. And I'm wanting to fill them up with these. And then I've got some other patterns that I'm wanting to work on from the left-handed crocheter. She's got some that are uh, pirates and also olive has a uh, parrot that i'm wanting to make <laughs> so i think that'll be really cute just to throw it all in the baskets and have it in the playroom but i am wanting to make a special lovey to go with this for uh, the baby blanket but anyway um last week or whenever that was it's been a while <laughs> i made the uh, let me go get it Okay, I'm back. I made a couple of baskets like this. And this is uh, Pamela's uh, basket tutorial, and I absolutely love it. I got several more. I'm wanting to make a bunch to put on top of my entertainment or the stand that used to be a TV entertainment center, I guess is what you call them. I have it in my craft room with the yarn in it. And on the very top, 
um, I'm wanting to put a bunch of baskets up there. That way I can put a bunch of stuff in there. <laughs> but anyway, last week or whenever it was, I made the mermaid. And I think she's my favorite. <laughs> and then I believe it was the seahorse. And then the crab. And then I had done this one for the book review. And then this was one I did with the tiny hook. And uh, it's her jellyfish. I think this is a jellyfish. Yeah. Um, that she had like a, at the time, it, at Christmas, uh, like a giveaway. And this was one that I did. <laughs> I did it in Christmas colors. And then this fish is, I don't know, it's not one of Olive's patterns, but it's one that I had done last year earlier, and so it's super cute. I'm not really sure, sure if I can remember who the designer is, but if I do, I'll put it down below where you can go check it out. But they're resting in this basket. So this week, I wanted to do an amigurumi for each square that I did for the blanket. And so, I ended up doing the starfish. <laughs> I just think he's so cute. Now, I used the 3.2 millimeter on this one hook. And all of, in all her, she uses a four. So this one came out a little tinier. But I just think he's the sweetest thing. And it's that yarn that almost, it's not coral, but it looks like a pink looking color. And it's hobby or Red Heart Super Saver. And then the, the little spots around him there are, is um, a scrap ball of yellow. And then he's got his little safety eyes and a little smile. But he's just the sweetest little thing. So, that's one of them that I made. And then the next one, I, I think I've only made one, uh, one of these before. And it was on my Throwback Thursday. But it wasn't a sea turtle. <laughs> but here's the sea turtle. I just think he's so sweet. I had a lot of fun making him. Now, I did go up on my hook size for this one. Because I wanted to try to make them a little bit bigger. And so I used a 3.5 on this one. But I just think he's the cutest thing. And, I, and if I end up making another one, I would want to do mine like she did hers in the book. Let me show you. Let me see if I can find it real quick. It is the sweetest thing. Well, I guess I can go look it up. It's in here somewhere. Let me pause you for a second. I guess it would help if I go to the table of contents. <laughs> but here it is. I love how she did the top like that. But uh, I ended up doing mine just solid. But I just think that's the cutest and that's what I'd want to do next time. But I made mine in the green. And this is, uh, I know it's Red Heart Super Saver. But I don't know what the colorway is. It was just a scrap ball. And then this is that Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn in the key lime. And then... Gave him some safety eyes. I didn't put a smile on him, and I might still do it. I just kind of maybe forgot. <laughs> but anyway, just so sweet. So he's going in the basket, too. And the last one, last but not least, is the whale. <laughs> Isn't he cute? Oh, he's just so cute. Now, I did do him in a 4.millimeter hook. So I went up all the way. So I didn't do too bad on my tension there. I guess it's gotten a little tighter. So I think he's so cute though. And gave him some little safety eyes. And he doesn't have a mouth on hers. She doesn't have one on hers in the book. But there's his little tail. He's so cute. And this is a Walmart mainstay. Um, what is that? Blue? or I'm not sure. I keep forgetting to look. I don't think I have one here next to me. I don't. But anyway, that's that mainstay blue that they have there. All right, so that's what I have there to show you on that. And uh, I'll put a link down below if you'd like to go check out Maria's uh, ocean blanket. I do. I love her blankets. They're so fun. And, uh, yeah, she's got several. She's got a farm one, I think, if I remember right, and a woodland one with all the little wildlife on it. And so, but anyway, lots of fun to do this. Okay, now the next thing I want to share with you guys, Jada and Stitches is doing a, a Tunisian calendar blanket. And you guys know how I've talked about, I'd like to do a little bit more, learn how to do some Tunisian. So when she came out with it, I was super excited about it. And so I did finally get my square done. It took me a while. 
I'm slow. <laughs> and uh, my tension is extremely tight, I guess from maybe making amigurumis, I don't know. But she used a five and a half, I think, millimeter uh, hook, and I don't know, oh, here's mine. Here's mine. I used a five, but I think she used a five and a half. I'm not, I can't really remember. But I ended up using a scrap ball that I had of Red Heart Super Saver, and I think it's called Ombre, and it might be the colorway Spearmint. It's got like yellow and green in it, and but anyway, here it is. Now this is the simple stitch, and I, from what I gather from what people say, it the simple stitch will curl, and she said it too. She said it will curl, but I think it turned out really cute, or you know, turned out good. <laughs> And this is the second thing I've ever made with Tunisian. The first one was that dishcloth that I showed y'all that I made like a year ago when I got interested in Tunisian in the first place, or the first time. But anyway, uh, I did have fun doing this. It just took me a long time because my tension is extremely tight. And my square is like seven and a half by nine, I think. <laughs> so, and I think hers is like 11 by something. I'm not sure, but it turned out small. But that's okay and I love how it fades in and out there with that ombre so I've decided with all of them I'm going to use that red heart super saver ombre yarn and so I've got several uh, scrap balls of it in there and then I have uh, a skein of the pink that I'm wanting to uh, use but I think it's turning out pretty and I love how it looks the back you can see you know I made some mistakes but that's just part of it Hard of learning, but I think it's so neat, and I absolutely love it, and I did the border in just white, so that's what I'm going to do around all mine is do it in white, but it is a lot of fun, and I need to go up a hook size from what I gather is what some people were saying, but I'm just going to keep using this one since I already did this. I'm not starting over, <laughs> and I'm just going to keep going, and I have blocked this, believe it or not. Maybe I'm not doing a good job blocking, but I did block it. And, but probably by the time I add more to it, it'll, it'll work its way out. That's what I got there. So I'm excited about that. Okay. Now the next thing I want to share with you. Okay. I had mentioned that I haven't been feeling very good and I'm not sick. It's my sleep apnea. <laughs> I know. Oh my goodness. I've talked about it before. I've been diagnosed with sleep apnea. And I have my good days and I have my bad days. And I do have a CPAP machine. But it doesn't do, you know, I still have episodes. And I think I've only, I've had it since, I don't even know how long I've had it yet. Seven months maybe? I don't even remember. I can't, uh, I can't remember. But anyway, there's only been two times where I haven't had any episodes at all. But I do have episodes during the night. But like I said, uh, it, I have it and... I have my good days and my bad days, and when I have my bad days, I've been having them here in the last few, uh, like the last week, and whenever I do have it, I can't really function real good. It Sleep apnea, you know, I didn't really know anything about it until uh, I was diagnosed with it, because whenever I first got diagnosed, before they finally realized it, uh, I thought I was having heart problems, because it causes you, you know, the chest pain, and you... Uh, you, you get nerve, um, it, it affects your nerves, it affects your memory, extremely fatigue, it, it affects your whole body, and it causes depression, and so mine has been bugging me quite a bit, and so I've been feeling kind of depressed and just haven't felt good, and so whenever I get like that, I want to work on a project that is totally, I don't have to look at it, I just want to have something that I can just repeat you know it's a repeat row repeat row and it helps me so much whenever I'm not feeling good because a lot of times I just sit and try to relax and that's a, how I relax I can't sit still and not have something in my hands I'm constantly got to have something in my hands and of course you know crochet <laughs> so I went hunting yesterday for something to help me I didn't want an amigurumi or anything that you know it had a bunch of different uh, you know directions to do this and that I wanted something simple so I finally found one and I was excited and I've got this basket here let me show you I've used several of it from last night but I've got several bigger balls scrap balls in my room it's in a oh, a basket kind of like this right here and so 
these are a bunch of smaller scrap balls that I got that I've been looking at and I keep thinking I need to get rid of or you know use them up I want to use them you know I mean I can use them on my amigurumis and stuff like that but I have hardly yet to grab any out of here to use for an amigurumi because a lot of times I kind of don't think about it I guess or I don't go digging I just go grab a skein that's in the other thing I got skeins too that are not rolled into balls that I've used and so anyway, last night I got to look at it and I finally found one and it is the Sunburst Blanket. I think it might be Sunburst Baby Blanket and it's by Jada and Stitches. Now it's a the Chevron Stitch, I believe, and it's in a circle and I've never made one. You know, I guess you could say it's like the Starburst and all that. She, she calls hers a Sunburst and I've never made one before. So I watched the video and I thought, this is something I can do that can help me because, like I said, when my sleep apnea bothers me, my memory's horrible. And, but if I, there are certain things, you know, like for this blanket, for instance, I can sit there and remember something like that over and over and over. But uh, I don't have to keep going back. <laughs> and so I got started on it last night and I didn't realize how easy this was. And I was so, I didn't want to stop. <laughs> I didn't want to go to bed last night, but I needed to because I was tired. And uh, so anyway, I got started with it and I absolutely love it. And I'm using my scraps and I actually had hubby start helping me pick the colors out that to put in it. So let me show you. And I didn't mess up on it. It's supposed to have 12 points and mine's only got 11. I don't know how I did it. I, I mean, I followed the tutorial to the T, but you know, like I said, I... I haven't felt very good. <laughs> so anyway, here it is. <laughs> I love this so much. When I look at this, this makes me happy. This makes me feel good. <laughs> so I just sit there and it's just a three row repeat. After you get past the fourth row here, if I remember right, then seven, eight, nine, there are just, you know, you start over. When you get to uh, 10, you start with seven and, you know, Hope that makes sense but anyway it is a fun pattern if you've never done one and like i said mine's supposed to have 12 and i've only got 11 but that's okay it's still you know i laid it down and looked at it and it's like wow it's still you know the shape of it and everything still looks fine so i love this so much and like i said it makes me happy and it's mindless and that's what i need right now <laughs> until i can start feeling a little bit better but anyway I am having fun doing this and busting through my scraps. So that's exactly what I'm going to be working on today. And like I started this last night and uh, I just want to continue on it. And I'm sure I'll be making some more. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to get up here and, you know, do a, a video, maybe chat with you guys while I work on one. And, you know, I don't not that I might have anything really to chat about, but who knows about me. <laughs> but anyway... I just, I love this color here. That is a Red Heart Super Saver. And I don't know the colorway, but it's got all those. That's part of it there too. And that purple and then that. And this was like a scrap ball of, uh, oh, Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. And then a tiny bit of green there. And like I said, I have little bitty pieces. Matter of fact, let's see, right there, that yellow. with just a little scrap I had left. And I put that in there too. I would just reach over there. I didn't look and I'd just pull out a color and I'd be like, oh, guess what's next? <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> and I'm using a five millimeter. Now, Jada used a DK weight, so she used a four, maybe a 4.2 or she mentioned something about dropping down to a four. And it is a free pattern. She does have it free on her website and she does have a video tutorial if you want to go check it out. But anyway, I guess that's what I have to share with you guys that right there and anyway yeah i'm going to work on that as a matter of fact i'm doing it in that um hobby uh walmart mainstay that multi multi pink i believe i love that i need to grab a couple more skeins of that at walmart but it's so pretty but that really helps me whenever i'm not being able to think right because let me tell you it has affected my memory <laughs> You wouldn't think that that, you know, sleep apnea, I've never heard of it until they told me, my heart doctor told me that's what it was. And finally, after they got it, everything taken care of, because he had to basically crack the whip <laughs> the last time I was there, because he was under the impression I had my machine, and I didn't. Of course, you guys know I've talked about it before in one of my other chat videos. 
and they just kept dragging their feet and finally when he cracked the whip i had it two days later so he's a he is a very good doctor not just because of that but he he's very good he's just a very good doctor and so matter of fact i'm fixing to go to him again here in a few days <laughs> gotta go to a checkup but anyway i guess i'm gonna quit rambling and hop off of here and go work on my blanket here and take it easy for the day but anyway i'll try to get up here and make some more videos instead of staying gone for so long but i try <laughs> But anyway, I guess I'll hop off of here and I hope you guys all have a wonderful blessed day and I will be chatting at you guys real soon. <laughs>